A truck is seen driving through a desert carrying a group of immigrants in the back. Among them is a man named Moses, who is holding a toy given to him by his son. The toy starts making noise, and Moses doesn't know how to turn it off when a man beside him advises him to press the toy's tummy. Moses does so, and it gets turned off. Suddenly, the truck breaks down before they can reach their destination. The drivers get out to take a look at it, but don't seem to be able to figure out what's wrong with the engine. They go back to the truck and ask if there are any mechanics among them. Moses volunteers and gets out of the truck. He looks at the engine and concludes that he won't be able to fix it. So, the driver tells all the people on the truck to get off and points the immigrants toward America. They have no choice but to walk the desert to get to the dreamland of the United States. Meanwhile, a man named Sam and his dog, Tracker, are driving down a road. They stopped so that Sam could hunt a rabbit using his rifle. The gunshot alerts the immigrants as they start to run and hide in a field full of cacti and tumbleweeds. After it seems they are safe, they take a break. Moses notices that one of the immigrant men is trying to flirt with a female immigrant named Adela, who is getting really uneasy with this. Moses then distracts the man and stops him from going any further. After making sure that they are safe now, the immigrants continue their journey. Near the same area, Sam is driving down the road again when he runs into a border patrol agent. Sam is asked by the agent if he has a permit. Sam asks him if he needs a hunting license to catch rabbits and the agent tells him that he doesn't. Sam tells the agent that he told the police earlier that he saw the tracks of illegal immigrants and asked the agent if he looked into it. The agent says he doesn't know anything about it and wishes Sam good luck on his hunt, but Sam tells the agent to keep good luck to himself. Both men get in their trucks and drive away. Sam sees the tracks once more when one of the immigrants forgot their handkerchief. He grabs his rifle and starts following their traces. He calls Tracker over to sniff and then tells him to go find them. At this point, the group has split into two. One group is far ahead while the other is walking far behind. Moses and Adela are in the group that has fallen behind. Moses and his group are able to see Sam and Tracker from a hill before Sam notices them and they manage to quickly hide from his sight. Sam sees the other group far ahead in the distance, crossing an open field, and goes back to the truck to get his sniper rifle. He starts shooting them one by one, not leaving anyone alive. After he is finished, Sam says, Welcome to the land of the free. There is not a single hint of empathy on Sam's face. The group led by Moses goes in the other direction. Sam gets back into his truck and starts to cheer for himself. Tracker begins to bark in the direction Moses and his group are going. Sam takes out his sniper rifle and looks in that direction and sees Moses and the rest of the group going over a hill. The dog and his owner get back in the truck and start driving in that direction. Reaching the end of the road, Sam gets out of the truck and tells Tracker to find them. Sam goes after Tracker on foot. Moses and his group are still running and they know that Sam and Tracker aren't too far behind. Tracker catches up with a man who is way behind the group. Tracker takes him down brutally by attacking him. Adela tries to help the man, but Moses stops her as it's too late. Tracker then starts running toward the remaining immigrants. The four people who are still alive start climbing a rock mountain in a desperate attempt to get away from Tracker. The dog starts to climb the mountain as high as he can, but he only gets halfway up. He goes back and tries to find a different way up. Sam climbs up another rock hill. He is able to see Moses and his group. Tracker finds a different way to climb the mountain. Moses and his group get to a point where they have to jump from one rock to another. Moses, Adela, and another immigrant man all jump, but the fourth immigrant hesitates. He takes his time, but as soon as he sees Tracker coming up behind him, he jumps. He doesn't make it, but manages to hang on to the rock. Moses tries to help pull him up, but Sam shoots the man in the head, killing him. He tries to shoot Moses, but loses. Sam takes Tracker back to the truck. He looks at a map and tells Tracker to go do his job. Tracker goes after them. Sam gets in his truck again and starts driving. He stops the truck when he gets to a canyon. He begins looking at his map again. Moses, Adela, and the third immigrant see Sam and his truck around the corner as they are hiding in the canyon. They begin to go the other way. Sam gets out of his truck and starts walking in the direction that Moses and his group have gone. The survivors spot Tracker in front of them. They keep trying to get away from Tracker by climbing up the canyon. It works, but Tracker makes Sam aware of their presence. 
Sam starts to climb up the canyon to catch up with them. As the third immigrant falls further behind, he looks back and sees Sam coming up behind him. Sam pulls out his gun to shoot the man, but the man loses his grip and falls. Moses and Adela hide among the canyon rocks. Tracker runs up to the man and starts biting him. Sam tells Tracker to leave him alone, but then shoots the man, ending him on the spot. Moses is still hiding in the rocks when his toy starts making noises. He hurries to silence it, but it still lets Sam know of their presence. Sam tells Tracker that he will get them tomorrow since it's almost getting dark. Moses and Adela walk a little more and decide to take a break. Adela tells Moses that she didn't want to leave her country, but her family thought she would be more secure and live a better life if she went to the USA, and the man who accompanied her here has been killed. Moses tells her that his family is waiting for him in the US. He says that he used to live there illegally with his family, but an accident led to his arrest and they decided to send him to prison in Mexico. The teddy bear he keeps with him is the one his son gave him while he was leaving. He is determined to get the toy back to the little boy. The next day, Adela tries to figure out where Sam and Tracker are. From the top of a hill, she sees Sam's truck and informs Moses about it. Tracker suddenly gets up, sensing her presence, and runs after her. Sam immediately follows him. When they reach the top of the hill, they see the toy in a pit full of snakes. Sam realizes that he has been tricked, and upon looking around through his rifle, he finds Moses and Adela on the way back to his truck. Moses grabs the truck's antenna and opens the front door with it. They get into the truck just in time to avoid Tracker. Before Tracker could get in the truck, Moses is able to drive the truck away. Moses and Adela are overjoyed that they were able to escape. But their joy is cut short when Sam shoots at the truck and Adela gets hit in the shoulder. This gets Moses' attention and he loses control, turning it over. Moses gets out of the truck and looks around. He sees Sam climbing down a hill far away. Adela is pulled out of the truck by Moses. He also takes the first aid kit from Sam's truck. Moses and Adela begin walking. Tracker leaves and Sam goes after him. The duo takes shelter under a huge cactus. In the first aid kit, Moses finds some bandages and a flare gun. He wraps Adela in the bandages and takes the flare gun, leaving Adela by the cactus. Sam and Tracker start to get closer to Adela, but Moses uses his flare gun. Sam and the dog go after Moses because Sam assumes Adela doesn't have long to live. Moses gets to a field of cacti and starts to cross it, and Tracker follows him. He stops and puts a second flare into the flare gun. When Tracker gets close, Moses shoots him in the mouth with the flare. Sam runs towards Tracker when he hears him crying. Tracker is already dying, so Sam puts him out of his misery and starts to cry while saying that he's sorry. This enrages Sam even more, and he starts yelling at Moses that he's a dead man. Moses sees a vehicle from the Border Patrol off in the distance. He yells at it, but fails to get its attention. Sam shoots at him, but hits the cactus tree instead. Moses runs away, and Sam fires another shot at him, but misses again. Moses starts climbing up another rock hill to get away from Sam. He keeps hiding from Sam until Sam stops at one of the mountain cliff edges. Sam looks around, trying to sneak up on Moses, but Moses jumps on him from behind, knocking him off the mountain. Both men fall down the side of the mountain. Sam gets badly injured. Moses, on the other hand, seems to be fine. They both look to see Sam's sniper rifle just a few feet away. The two men stand up and race for the gun, but it's Moses who gets his hand on it first. Sam begs Moses to save his life. Moses decides not to shoot Sam, but instead leaves him to die in the desert, despite Sam's constant pleading. Moses begins walking again. He goes back to where he left Adela. He helps her stand up and then carries her on his back. He carries her a long while, walking miles as the day fades away. Moses sees lights coming from buildings up ahead as it starts to get dark. This suggests that they are getting close to a town. Out of 14 immigrants, only two get to reach their destination. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.